So let's see the damage of the Light Chunli or Light Blade Dancer uh, before the Valence patch, right? So you can compare, okay? So let's do second skill and let's see the damage. Okay. And then we'll compare it after the batch. Okay, so the balance patch um 6.1.6 is live. And now we're gonna try the light chunli or light blade dancer in terms of the nerf. Let's see whether it makes a difference. Okay, so I have a before and now this is the after for the patch and this is after the patch. So we are doing the same thing here. Okay. This. Okay. And we we'll try and see whether we do the same damage. Okay. Wait. Wait. There's two different. There's two different numbers just now. So. Twenty one K, that's still decent damage. Hmm. Okay, let me try it without the speed buff. We are the speed buff from um the fire uh the fire chunli, right? Seems like we're still doing about the same about the same damage, but let's see if we don't get to try it with uh the stat, right? No speed buff. So the speed will be um, lower. Let's see what kind of damage. We do this. This guy back. Okay, and then do the damage. It should be lower, right? Yes, definitely lower. Only around. So with the speed buff, with this kind of speed, let me show you his uh, her stats again. So with this one, only attack with the stat. There's only attack buff. Um, it's two forty speed. Not considering this, well, we, we we don't need to consider the the buff, the speed buff. Wait, we do have speed buff ten percent from Prime, but then the rest is the same as my defense speed buff, right? Wait, but he has a higher base. That, but well, the I haven't scaled her up yet. But the uh, the important thing is with this kind of speed. And with a speed buff, it still do almost the same damage as before. I mean, slightly lower, I think. Uh, okay, let me take a look at the, the 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 damage again. Okay, as you can see here, this is the damage um, done by Leah uh, before the balance patch. So we did 13.7, 17.4, 14.6. The same, the same monster was attacked. The same uh, stats from Leah. I didn't change uh, her runes. And now, this is the damage after the balance patch. So it's from. Wait, let me see. Let me calculate this. Uh, it's from 13,750. Wait, let me see again. It's 37, around 13,750 becomes like 11,600 something. So that's uh, 2,000. 2,000 less damage on the Molong. 
2,000 damage. So that's uh, 2,000 damage from 13,750. That's around 15% less damage. Right, with the same like with the same speed. Now the difference here you can see from oh no hits. Uh, there, there's a difference between 16 and 17k because when the first hit land, uh, Perna still has his usual speed and then it lands a speed break. That's why the second hit hits 17k, which is the most the same as the previous. So, oh, speed break is like 50%, is it? I forgot. Is speed break 50%? Increase attack speed? Oh, 30%. 30% speed break will have the same effect as previous. So, does that mean you have to increase your speed by 30% more from before to get to the same damage? Right? Right? Am I right? Yeah, the only difference is the speed break, right? You see the speed break? The second hit does 17.6. Right? So... Yeah, it's the same. 17.4. So it's almost the same. Uh, with speed break on the unit, on the enemy unit, then you'll do the same damage as before. So the only difference is like 30%. Uh, speed difference if that makes sense um, so with the same speed difference as the previous uh, I did around 50% less but oh let me see the one with the uh, uh, with without any speed buff from myself, right? When you use when you use the stat, let me see that one. Okay, this one is without speed buff. Speed buff is thirty uh, percent increase in speed. Without speed buff, uh, we only did like nine k to the uh, Perna, which is like nothing, no increase in damage. I would assume because seventeen k is almost double. But you still do some increase, right? Because 200% more, right? His skills read 200% more. The passive is up to 200%, so it's three times the normal. So this one is still 9,000. So maybe if we run him faster, he could do more? Like maybe 9k more? That would be interesting. I don't know. Do you think? Or is it cap? Because there's a max, right? What's the speed difference, right? We need to see the speed difference. So without speed buff, he do considerably less. Considerably less. Only 9k on the Perna. And then 6k on the Molong, which is like almost half. And and when he doesn't crit, that's only 2k. Okay, so you need to crit, you need to have speed buff to make the difference in the attack. Right? Without speed buff, it really literally like does nothing now. Okay, let me, let me take a look. Let me take a look. Pana, we did more damage to Pana, but of course Pana has less defense also. So that's to confirm. How long speed is? No, oh, it's um, it's one, it's two to one actually, like two to one. Wait, about thousand defense. While my perna was perna. Perna is about two to so around the same, around the same speed as Molong, but less defense that's why uh that's why the the light junior blade dancer uh does more damage to perna right 
the last one is my um, Lima, right? Lima has a defense of a speed of around the same, also 227, slightly faster. Defense is around 900 ish, 800 something, so it does almost the same damage to the the Lima and the Mola, right? They just do more to the uh, Perna because Perna, have, per, Perna, Perna has lower defense. Okay, so let's do it with uh, um. Okay, let's do it this time. Oh, but we have defense break. Take off defense break, but then we pay attention to the Molong then to see whether there's a difference, like a difference in like fourteen percent, um, fourteen percent speed increase, right? So let's see what we did to the Molong. Okay, it doesn't do slight. There's a slight difference, right? It, it did like 12k something. Previously, it's only 11k ish. Wait, let me see. Yeah, it's like a thousand, a thousand more damage, uh, a thousand, a bit, a thousand more something damage with like 40% more speed difference. So it could still go up. I mean, it's the, def the, the difference. And the damage to the Perna with a defense broken Perna is like 30k just now. So that's huge. One hit, 30k. Hmm, that's interesting, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see whether we can outspeed them with this without any speed. Speed. Uh, speed lead. Hopefully, we can. Okay, we did out speed, I hope. So we do that, but I'm not speed tuned. That's a problem, right? Okay, we still move before them. Can I put defense break? Only one defense break. Gonna try that again. Uh, let's see what kind of damage we did. But we don't have speed lead. That's a problem, right? We don't have speed lead. We have speed buff. We have attack buff. We have defense break on the Vigor. We have attack buff, we have a crit rate, so we should crit. Technically, we should crit. Not much of a damage. Only 16k. Let, let, let me try with this one, right? Attack speed. We do around 17k, 16, 17k on the defense broken Vigor. So let's see if we can... No, I'm not sure. Oh, wait a sec, I'm faster. But doesn't matter, right? Because oh wait a second, my I forgot my chew is low. But we just pay attention to the vigor, and of course it's resisted. Damn it! Do we? Yeah, without defense break, it's only thirteen k. Let me try again. We're just giving this guy. We're just boosting this guy. I need to uh to to land the defense break right, so that we pay attention to the damage that we done to the vigor. Does it make a difference with a twenty four, uh, speed lead? Uh, twenty four percent speed lead. Come on, land land it on. Wow, we just give it. <laughs> we're just giving him the points. We're boosting him. God dang it. One eternity later. Okay, let me try this again. This time, I ruined accuracy slot 6 Galleon. So he has more accuracy. Just now he has like 15 accuracy. That's why, that's why it's not landing anything. Okay, please land, please land, please land, please land. Okay, okay, okay. Um, we do this, right? We do this to the thing. It okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so now we pay attention to the to the Vigor, right? Just now it was like um, 13k, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see how much damage we did. 22k per hit. So that's an increase of 9k damage, right? 
with speed lead. With 24% speed lead, it increased the damage by around 9k. With the same condition, right? Defense break, attack buff, speed buff. We just add 24% speed lead and it does around 9k more damage. So yeah, uh, Leah, um, enough, but now is it worth to still build her? Um, I mean it's still decent in terms of the damage, but you have, you kind of have like a speed lead, defense break, attack buff, that's a lot of setup. Speed buff, right, we have speed buff, attack buff, speed lead, defense break to do like 22k per hit. That's a lot of setup. I mean, in Guild War, Guild Siege, I think we could still use her. It doesn't make a lot of difference because we control. We can control the situation, right? We can control whether it got hit or not, and whether who he wants to hit, she wants to hit, and something like that. So I still feel that's a slight nerf, but it doesn't make a lot of difference. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it still worth to uh, build Leah, or it's not anymore? Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!